There are two fundamentals of Dragon Ball that we have all come to expect as fans since the very early days of the series. The first being the rivalry and continued battle for supremacy between Goku and Vegeta and the second being the continuous rise in power and in turn new forms of those two legendary Saiyans also. From Super Saiyan to Super Saiyan God and now to both Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego, both Saiyans have reached new pinnacles, but only one of those forms is recent. The other, Ultra Instinct, has stagnated and remained the same for now over two years, one of the longest periods ever for Goku to not progress form-wise and with things heating up with the new villain Granola, an upgrade is definitely on the cards and with the ongoing story I have of Ultra Instinct Goku vs Ultra Ego Vegeta now in production for its third part, it may come to this channel first before even in the official manga, after some much needed input from you guys the fans. But before we continue, today's video is sponsored by Genshin Impact, an open world action RPG available on cross platforms, allowing you to play seamlessly on PC, Android, iOS and PlayStation 4 and 5. If you haven't been living under a rock, you know what this game is as you start your adventure in the magical continent of Teyvat, where seven elemental powers are there to be wielded. Now with version 2.2 of Genshin Impact released, you guys will get new challenges and missions that will keep you entertained for sure with more to come soon. Explore 7 different regions with different cultures where you can climb, swim and glide your way through the awesome world, eating and cooking amazing food along the way. And expect big things soon as with version 2.2 there will even be returning characters such as Child the Bow User. Not only that, the vast world of Teyvat will expand once more to the final island, Surumi Island on Inazuma, meaning new events and bosses to beat too. So what are you waiting for? Get involved right now and use my link in the description below to get Genshin Impact on your devices right now. A world of adventure awaits you, but now on to the video. Now, the reason this upgrade is important for this channel specifically is because as you would know, I am known for hand drawing and creating hundreds of Dragon Ball manga that have garnered multiple, multiple millions of views over the last few years and two of my most popular manga surround the battle between Ultra Instinct Goku and Vegeta in first his Hakaishin form and later in his Ultra Ego form. With a combined viewership of over 1.5 million views across its two parts, it's likely you've come across at least one of these stories. But in the latest part, at the end of the latest chapter, Vegeta after a hard fought battle with Goku eventually ascends once more, revealing he had been taking damage on purpose for the sole reason of breaking his limits in Ultra Ego. Much to the surprise of Goku, who initially thought he had gone too far and killed him. The end result being a completely new and original form created by myself known as Ultra Ego Maniac. In essence, it takes the strange purple slash black flames we know of Ultra Ego, which by the way have yet to be explained, and then instead covered the entire mass of Vegeta to create a new demonic entity complete with wings which are actually just formed from energy rather than being physically there, allowing for some interesting techniques and use cases when I do draw up the sequel. Now in the upcoming sequel, without a shadow of a doubt, this form Ultra Ego Maniac outclasses Ultra Instinct in every way. The speed, power and defense of Vegeta while he uses this goes to truly a new level with the added wings allowing Vegeta to almost attack with two more fully functional limbs that would catch Goku and force him to a block even in the event of dodging one of Vegeta's punches or kicks. This being a reflection of real life martial arts where even if you are able to dodge someone, if the direction you dodge into has an oncoming attack from someone else, you are most definitely going to get hit. Goku in his Ultra Instinct form, as the writers have been trying to tell us recently by stating Beerus is still stronger, is strong 
but still a mortal with the same flaws as everyone else. Of course, after a beatdown by Vegeta, it wouldn't be Dragon Ball or indeed one of my signature mangas if Goku did not come back from the ashes like a phoenix with an entirely new form. The first time being seen anywhere, but the question is, what kind of form? My initial idea, as some can probably guess, is that since I gave Vegeta a demonic form, Goku would completely go down the angel route and come back with a full-on angel form of his own, complete with large white wings and potentially a shiny white slash platinum armor set that covers him, similar to how Vegeta is now covered in his dark key. I haven't done any sketches just yet, but a quick Google shows a number of reference images that would not be too far off. The end result of the manga would then be an epic and climactic battle between Angel and Demon, Ultra Egomaniac versus Ultra Instinctive or Omega Instinct and any name really. You guys can also comment on that below what you would like name wise and what you think would be good. But in case you don't like the idea of an angelic Goku, there is also the simpler idea of a Super Saiyan Ultra Instinct Goku which some have seen in other fan mangas. Though this would not be my original idea, I'm still open to include it if that's what you guys wish. So again, use this comment section as your personal discussion forum to discuss with not only me, but also your fellow Arge Army members about exactly what ideas you want explored in the next entry of the Goku vs Vegeta manga. I'll be reading them all while I draw up the rest of the manga, but if you have somehow missed out on watching the first two entries or want to just re-watch, I'll link them right here on the right for you to click. But until next video guys, cheers.